That last bit with Elizabeth might be one of the most emotionally affecting scenes in the entire game so far. A combination of the cruelty that she faces and the indifference to the cruelty brought, brought on by all of her surrounding people because they all blame her for the actions of the person that's actually her abuser. It, uh... Reminds me a lot of Sansa Stark, actually. For reasons that, well, you either already know or this is meaningless to you anyway, I suppose. Dear Francis, the letters I have written to you over the years surely could be bound into a book. But only you know what my words in those letters amount to. It is different with the book I have written. It has found its way into priories throughout England and beyond. Because of my book, I may have to talk to Bishop Henry. But that is not the only thing that keeps me awake tonight. The dust storm and the drought are taking their toll on all of us. Thanks to our town wall, we are safe from the Earl and the outlaws. We've heard of places nearby being raided. We believe the attackers were William Hamley's men. We have enough food to last us another few weeks. But life has come to a halt. Martha believes there will be rain soon. But the storm is only a harbinger of rain. I hope that she is right. I'm concerned about writing about the discovery in the crypt. It might have historical significance of a sort for more like maybe the brother might actually do something if it reached him, but if it was intercepted, I'm just imagining these roaming bands of brigands that work for Hamley, how they might react to something like that being discovered via an intercepted letter. Jonathan worries about my book, The Divine Soul. In Winchester, he heard that Bishop Henry was less than pleased by what I had written. I am not naive enough to pretend I do not know why. I wrote that hope is godly, and since God made each of us, hope and salvation are only to be found within ourselves. Henry sells hope, and I am giving it away for free. If the church should ask me to clarify my position, of course I shall do so. But I feel I must give our people what they need in these desperate times. And how could I write anything else if this is what I truly believe? Looks like I don't have a choice after all, which makes me all the more worried. Behind a wall in our crypt, Jack discovered a hidden room. We do not know who built it. But it is likely that Prior James hid there, even after he was said to have drowned. That means he was alive when we met in Kingsbridge on New Year's Day the day of his burial. And Jack told me he saw a man in the church the night it burned down. Was that him? And if so, did he burn in the fire that night? It must be well after midnight. With you, I can be honest about what truly troubles me. Jack told me that he was responsible for the fire in Kingsbridge. 
I know that it was a long time ago. He told me he set fire to the roof because he had heard monks were bad people. My God, save yourselves! The saint, we must save the saint. Fire, the whole roof is in flames. My God. Don't go in there. But help us, the, the saint. We must save him. No, no, don't go. And as horrible as it may sound, I cannot find it in my heart just now to forgive Jack. Maybe because this confession comes too late. And from a man who I have learned to trust. <sighs> this is the truth. I should get some air, Francis. The storm has settled down. I need to search through this place real quick. Copies of my book. Gave one to Henry as a gift. Now he threatens me. Wrote down my sermons. Became the book I wrote. Should I not write what I believe? I know them by heart. But Jonathan insisted we keep them. I don't like to indulge in my own writings. People are going to get mad at me. The second letter this month. I miss Francis. Later. I need time to think. I mean, yes, you should write what you believe. Like, ideally. <laughs> uh, but this is not necessarily the era of prime dis uh, free discourse, especially when so many people profit greatly off of the ideas that contra that you contradict essentially the ideas that are the basis of all of their power in many cases you're going to reveal to the world that there are people around here whose entire way of life entire livelihood is derived from abusing others via basically lies that they make up along the way in order to profit themselves. The atmosphere of this location is, like, incredibly thick. Look at this site. Like the backdrop to a Castlevania level or something, that's if they still made them and made good art for them. <laughs> Here they all lie in wait, dearest friends that went before me. When my time comes, I shall see them again. If James died in that fire, then what happened to his remains? He was never properly buried, and that is Jack's fault. It is Jack's fault in that he literally is the one who did it, but he was also 10 or something at the time. Jack is still at work. Maybe he cannot sleep as well. Where did his remains end up? Is what I'm wondering. Like, are they a lump of... Is there a lump of James corpse somewhere? A magnificent cathedral. But I would have been more than content with the old one, had it not been burned to the ground. Been such a major mainstay in your life for all these years. Shortly after you became prior, the cathedral burned down. And this entire time, for well over a decade now, you've been dealing with a non-existent cathedral. Now it's slowly being built back up and you know why now. I saw someone. A few someones. There's someone over here. There's someone over there. There's reason to be worried. After all, the chap the chap the chapter is literally called Outlaws. Jack outdid himself. England never saw a cathedral like this. <gasps> that came from the kitchen. Uh oh. Don't tell me that we're gonna lose Philip to Outlaws. Don't do that to me. Door is open. The door should not be open. 
Something's wrong. Don't don't make us lose Philip to some outlaws. Oh, cool. Jack's here. That's a good sign. Oh, you. you startled me. I, I thought I heard something. Was that you? No, but I heard it too. Maybe Aliena came back. No. No, she's asleep. She returned a few hours ago. Damn it. Jack. Sorry. There's someone in the kitchen. Yes, I think you're right. Stay behind me. I'll go ahead. They are forced to steal. Terrible times. How desperate they must be. Maybe it's best to not talk to them. Please. Listen. <laughs> oh. We don't mean you harm. Philip, be careful! Damn it. Philip, throw me a stone. Ah. Okay, it's not canon. I was like, are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> One of these janky ass quick time events is gonna kill Philip. That's brutal. What an, what a what a weird outcome. Please listen. <laughs> oh. We don't mean you harm. Philip, be careful! Philip, throw me a stone. What a strangely contrived action sequence. Oh my god. Jack, no. He was about to stab you, and we know that because he did. It's him. Brother Marcus. Brother Marcus. He took Cuthbert's keys to steal food, here from the kitchen. Because of me, Remigius found out. And he left. We never saw him again. Looks like he came back. You didn't mean for this to happen. No, but... What about him? Be afraid. Ah! Why did you do that, you animal? I will get the others. No! What? He's just a child. Just a child. Jack forgave the child. Just like that. And I forgave him. For that was what he had been when he arrived in Kingsbridge. Just a child. Who was I to judge this man for not confessing earlier what he had done? I had never told his wife, Aliena, that I was responsible for her fate and for her father's. Even that night, when we all met, I did not dare to tell her. What tone does this chapter take if you didn't confess? The walls of Kingsbridge weren't enough anymore. The outlaws had found a way in. We weren't safe in our homes.
So this is what it has come to. Kingsbridge is under attack. Why didn't Uncle Richard chase them away? Why? Now, now, do not exaggerate. This is not a siege. We only saw two of them, and one of them was a child. But they almost killed you. Our Earl of Shiring lets his people starve. With this drought, a just lord would help. But nobody stood up to him. So he burns our last crops, destroys our towns, and murders our kin. Richard, please, not now. It is all too easy to blame a desperate child. Forgiveness is much harder. It is. But forgive we must. Can you? Forgive, I mean. I already have. Hamley is the reason for this. He's to blame. It's that simple. Well, he won't be Earl for long. The Treaty of Wallingford has been signed at last. It's only a matter of time until things change. What treaty? Winchester is in turmoil about this right now. Stephen and Maud have signed the treaty. Maud's son, Duke Henry, is to be crowned the next king. And, by agreement, all lands are to be returned to their previous owners. But Stephen will continue to rule as long as he lives. The earldom will be ours again. It will not. Why the bloody hell not? Bloody hell. Language? No one will enforce this until Stephen is dead. What is to be done then? We'll have to kill Stephen. <laughs> Can't we just give them something to eat? I'll share. We should, and we will. But there are too many to feed them all. We must do something. Well, I cannot sit quietly and wait until Stephen dies of old age. The Treaty of Wallingford is in place. I won't wait for another 17 years. Not when I am so close to fulfilling the promise I made to my father. You're right, but it wasn't William Hamley who came here last night. It's the outlaws we need to worry about. Ugh. Well, what do we do about it? A few more months like this, and we'll be where they are now. We should support them, not fight them. You are right, of course, but how can we help? We could provide weapons for them to fight Hamley. To fight him? You mean to pillage and plunder? That'd be more likely. What about his mother? I've heard that Hamley still listens to her, that she still has a say in Earl's Castle. Yes, let's tell his mother. If we spoke to Regan Hamley, we might not need a physical confrontation at all. That'll never work. We have to assault them and take back our father's castle. Even if that means fighting alongside the outlaws. I don't like either choice, to be honest. Neither do I. So, what do you think, Aliena? I'll negotiate with Regan Hamley. I will go to Earl's castle. Alone. Are you serious, Ali? Regan Hamley seems to be in a tight corner herself. She might well be willing to cooperate. I do hope you're right. I'll ride with you. You won't, Cub. Not with that leg of yours. Your mother is right. Besides, if we all turn up, they might think we mean them harm. can't shake the feeling that refusing to deal with things on the top level is why so many people have to suffer all the time so 
taking a chance might be worth it? The first outlaws have made their way to Kingsbridge. Your far former novice, Brother Marcus, was one of the outlaws. You have a chance to take back Earl's castle and fulfill your oath. So I, I led to Marcus being there. Maybe it would have been a different character if, it was, if I hadn't uh, led to his exile previously. Bit rough. Although he's not really getting sympathy points with his, you know, his murdering that he that he's apparently willing to be doing. And so, after 17 years, I finally returned to the place I'd once called home. Because I had failed to gain support from the people of Shiring, my only hope now was a deal with William Hamley's mother, Regan. A woman whose possible support was only guaranteed by rumor. It's rather exciting how this part of the game seems to have significantly more branching in it than I'm used to. Although I still, it's, the branching is always so invisible. Like, it's actually most, many of the people in the audience are actually the people it's more apparent to because many of them have played the game and then are watching me and then completely different stuff happens in certain parts where they're like, wait a minute, what? Whereas this is my only experience, so it's way less obvious to me. Earl's Castle at 1154. Originally, the father of Earl Bartholomew uh, ordered to build a castle a few miles outside of the market town of Shiring, which was meant to serve as the seat of the town's Earl. That area, including a small village, the surroundings, and the building itself, is now known as Earl Castle. The castle has mainly served as living quarters for the Earl's family, but its defenses have rarely been used. After Earl's castle had been violently seized by the Hamleys, all other inhabitants were driven from the estate. Nowadays, Earl's castle is, is a name to be feared, but uh, ever since the Cathedral of Shiring was finished, William Hamley has become more disgruntled. Some believe he has lost his faith and only lives to satisfy his own greed and hunger by stealing from starving peasants. I don't really have much faith that William Hamley ever had faith. I think that he just... <laughs> Did what he used whatever rules or uh, anything really that he could use to satisfy where he wanted to go with anything. Uh, nothing else in here really, it's her. I, I, I want to see. I find myself wanting to see what our character used to look like. There's a picture of her there, kind of, but it's not useful. I'm curious how much Aliana's appearance changed over the course of the game, or didn't. Because so many other people have changed so much, and now it's been 17 years. But I feel like she looks the same where every other character has changed so significantly. It's actually a little distracting. Get in line and stay in line. You'll all get your chance to pay your dues to Lord Hamley, you hear? So no pushing! Oh, it's our favorite, uh... Why yep. does Lord Hamley need all that food? He's got more than enough. Shut it, Woburn. Smear your face with dung and lower your head. It's the only way you get out of here alive. It's no coincidence that Hamley always asks for women to bring the tributes. Oh, shut up. That's distressing. Be disgusting and, uh, hey, and ugly hey, and unseemly and Everyone gross, or they'll get you. So many bodies just hanging over the doors. I'm just a shepherd's daughter. I have no business here. Shut up, bloody beggars. She refused to enter the castle until I was inside. Maybe she was waiting for some for a young face to shield her. I want to go home. Oi, you there. Ass, I meant you. That's a pretty face you got there. You're coming with me. What? Leave her. Take me instead. Hmm. Well, whatever. You'll walk to the other side of the yard and talk to Walter. He'll get you settled. And don't you dare stray from the path.
Oh, go to Walter. That'll go great. These names, Ugly Gervais and Mr. Eyes, they look familiar. Why do they look familiar? Don't you dare stray from the path, you said. What if the next Earl has us all hanged? Calm down. None of these royals really care about this shithole. I know those two. They used to fight for father. What about Bartholomew's children? There's a lot of bad blood there. Well, the boy used to fight for Stephen, but as far as I know, he ran out of coin. Now he's just a good-for-nothing playing watchman for those monks in Kingsbridge. And the Lady Aliena? Don't make me laugh. I think you underestimate her. Some years back, I heard she almost cut up a priest in Winchester, put a knife to his throat, and robbed him dry. Oh, she's a fury. And you're a sissy. May I interrupt? What is it? How can you fight for someone like William Hamley? My father was nothing like that tyrant. Oh, dear Lord, it's you. You always sat in your neat little keep playing hostess to his well-off guests, while the poor snuffed it just as they do now. Well, at least William treats us as his equals, and not like pawns on a board of nine men's Morris. His father really is such a cruel earl. Was my father really that bad? Your mother could have answered that question. He once told me that she was very unhappy when she died. And you never wondered why? I'm here to talk to Lady Regan Hamley. She's in the keep. But only Lord William and Walter are allowed to go there. And they'll kill you if they find you there. So you won't help me? We've already helped you more than enough by not ratting you out. Don't tell anyone that you saw me. We won't, if you promise to leave now. Seems like visiting Walter up there is a very bad idea. Are you done yet? A almost. Let me just see if I took enough. I still can't get over the fact that the names are like Ugly Gervais and Huge Axe. There's pigs eating at a corpse. Eating what is fed to them, I can barely look. This place is such a shit show. There she is, even more tired than last time. What are you doing here? You need to leave. Don't come any closer. William has me watched. What's taking so long? Uh, I, I forgot the pork. I'll be out shortly. Wait a moment, then follow me. Now Elizabeth, she might be happy my inn. We don't have much time. You will look for me any moment now. So why did you come? King Stephen has declared a truce with Empress Maud. William's tyranny is over. This land might finally see peace again. That's why I'm here, to talk to his mother. And what will become of me? My brother will become the next Earl, but I'll run things alongside him. At the same time, I don't want to give up my wool trade, so you could help me there. I want to help you. I really do. But I don't know how. I feel so useless. Can you take me to Lady Hamley? I... I wouldn't know how. Hugh Axe is watching me. He would never let you through. Only Walter and I are allowed inside the keep. Why... why don't you ask him? Walter. Walter? William's dog? 
Don't call him that. He's not as bad as people say he is. <sighs> William won't allow me to talk to him anymore. Now Lady Regan is all I have left. I will talk to Walter then. Hurry up in there! Or do you want me to come in and pull you out? I need to go. Elizabeth seems to trust Walter. Was I wrong about him? That's interesting. Because he seemed so scummy before. And probably, and frankly, was. Maybe it's a little bit like the Hound, though. Bit of a weakness for a particular character. That should, that leads to a bit of a change over the years. Maybe he's changed over the course of 17 years if there's a rift between him and... and William. Elizabeth claims you aren't such a bad person after all. Am I not? Have you forgotten that I killed your family steward? You got problems over there, Walter? I would be a better ruler than my father. I know my father wasn't always a good and just person. He killed, just as William does. But I would fight to be better. I would listen to the needs of this land's people. What are you saying? Tell your guard to stand down. So, you think I'm a nice bloke? And you think this is enough to convince me that you'd be a better ruler than anyone who came before you? Don't make me laugh. Shoo! What? I promise once my family is back in charge, things will get better for everyone. Or do you really not care for all the starving people? I don't believe you. But it's not up to me to judge these things. I'll take you to Lady Hamley. She'll decide. Makes it seem like it was his idea. <sighs> My lady? Elizabeth. Could you get me some water, dear? Yes, my lady. But first, I need you to wake up, my lady. There is someone who wants to see you. It's the Lady Aliena. The Lady Aliena? When did that bitch become nobility again? I'm certain you've heard about the treaty the King made with Duke Henry at Wallingford Castle. I have. I have also heard that it's a muddled mess. It is a complicated deal indeed, but one that will end the war. And one that makes my family the rightful owners of this earldom once more. Only by word. There's no one who would come to enforce this, not even the king. to understand that there is great anger among the peasants of Shiring. Anger against your son, against you, even against that poor woman, Elizabeth. If your son doesn't step down, the people will take their land back by force. That's a lie. My William is a better Earl than your father ever was. To think that I once wanted to marry my good William into a family like yours. Not a day goes by when I am not glad that God saved us from that horrible fate. And that he sent that monk to Bishop Waleran to unveil your father's evil plan. What monk? That prior of Kingsbridge. Philip of Gwyneth. What? Please, my lady. You need to hear her out. Oh, my dear Elizabeth. Don't you see what she is trying to do to us? It 
If you don't listen, things will get worse for everyone. People are starving because of your son. They will rise up and come for you. They're already attacking Kingsbridge. It's only a matter of time till they come here. My lady, the Lady Aliena came here to make things better. She has only ever made things worse. She mocked my son for wanting to marry her. She had every right to deny him. What? How can you say that? He is your husband. He's good to you. If it wasn't for Walter, I'm sure William would have killed me already. What's going on here? What's that bitch doing here? She's trying to bargain. She's trying to take everything. Is she? Is she now? Leave it. Shut up, old man. Oh, shit. Cut that whore up, Walter. No. You brought this on yourself. You, you bloody traitor! Someone get up here! Men! You will pay. You will all pay for this. Oh, well, that was satisfying. And abrupt. Too much for our negotiations. Oh, is he actually... Yeah, he's actually dying. Oh, he's finally going to hell. It's his fear. Hamley is dead. What now? Now we tell his men. So much for negotiations, huh? But hey, no uprising where hundreds of people have to die in a war to beat that dude. Just him. Unless this doesn't go well, in which case, uh. Drop your weapons immediately! The banner of the new Earl of Shiring. Everyone, listen. Lord Hamley is dead. The castle now belongs to the former Earl's family again. What? You're shitting us. It was the King's wish. Who killed him? He died because he refused to hand over Earl's castle peacefully. He died by my hand. My name is Lady Aliena of Shiring. I'm the daughter of Bartholomew, the former Earl of these lands. I've been tasked to end the tyranny of William Hamley and restore order to Shiring. Our occupation of Shiring has been made unlawful. Every attack on us is sanctioned by the King of the English. So what will happen to us then? I shall tell the King that William Hamley forced you to do his bidding. Where did you come Every from, Richard? Every done to the people of Shiring was his doing and his alone. You weren't here. That is my final word. If I did the other choice, was the fight going to happen and then you were going to show up? Is this like after the battle scene, which I didn't do? Ali, I know that you're a much better leader than I. Without you, we would never have come this far. You never hesitated with swearing and fulfilling the oath to father. In the end, I will be the Earl in name only, but you shall be the true ruler of Shiring. Don't say that. We'll do it together. 
Let's discuss this later. I owe you a lot, Ali. The tyranny of William Hamley is over. The earldom of Shiring belongs to its rightful heir. That was shockingly abrupt. Also, the dialogue auto proceeded. That was just that was a little confusing. I, I I was doing I was explaining a thought, and the dialogue kind of just auto proceeded. But I didn't see a timed wheel, so it was weird that it left without me when that wasn't there. When that was usually the thing that tells me that it's timed it wasn't there. Reinstatement of Richard of Shiring, King Henry the Second, by the Council of all his barons. And for the fulfillment of the Treaty of Wallingford, has decreed that Shiring and each township shall return to the owners of, uh, from before the former King Lord Stephen's times, within the term fixed for its sovereignty, those to be in succession by blood of former Earl Bartholomew of Shiring shall claim the title. Richard of Shiring, therefore, is to be announced Earl in an official ordeal of inauguration. All of this long story ends in, yeah, some people off camera that we don't deal with that much directly, they signed a document, and so let's go to his house and stab him in the gut. And then suddenly, here we are. A, a little a little abrupt. After the time given the to the journey to across the country. To let Prior Philip know that Shiring is finally free! <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Why are they laughing? You can send a messenger if you want. But there won't be much of a prior left when he arrives. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, what's going on? Are they attacking Kingsbridge on top of everything else? Oh. Uh-oh. We went off separately and then this is gonna happen. You snuck into Earl's castle with no one to support you. What? No one to support me. That's not true. I went with Elizabeth and Walter. Those are two people to support me. Unless they meant no one to support me on the mission, as in like, for, as in like no one from from uh, Kingsbridge is probably what they meant. You talked to two former knights of your father. Elizabeth did not leave Earl Castle and stayed with you to the end. Richard urged William's men to work for him now. You and Richard will rule Shiring side by side. A bit abrupt. This game spent like 90 minutes on the pursuit of Jack, but like 12 minutes on retaking the kingdom that is the oath that is the seemingly the core thing of the character's drive. Huh. 